So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to download Kali Linux for VirtualBox or VMware. And we're going to try to do this in less than five minutes. So in my channel, I'm actually planning some upcoming videos where we're going to be doing and demonstrating a lot of the tools in Kali Linux. And so to make sure we're all on the same page, I'm just going to do this real quick video on the simplest way to actually get this set up. So I'm using VirtualBox and VirtualBox is Oracle's open source uh, virtualization platform and it's a real easy download i'll put that right in the description and i will also put this link to offensive securities website on the, in the description as well and so we're just going to get started i'm going to kick off this download and then i'll get back to you as soon as it uh, finishes downloading so right now we're actually downloading the specific virtualbox image and this is different um, so if you actually go to cali linux and you just search up that a lot of the times you'll be You'll, you'll find a download page that has an ISO image and this is just much easier to download the VirtualBox or the VMware specific image because then you don't have to go through a lot of the initial configurations and it's already pre-configured for your virtual, virtualization platform. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm finished with this download. So now that the download has finished, we're just going to do a quick check on the, the SHA-256 hash. Uh, there are a couple ways you can do this. You can do this with CERT, Util, or PowerShell. I'm just going to do this with PowerShell because in my opinion it's easier. But so open up PowerShell or you can open up your command and do uh, and type in the command prompt in, into the command prompt PowerShell exec bypass. And then we're just going to do get hyphen file hash. And then I believe it's Kali, yep, right there. So if you just hit tab, you can tab complete that if you're in the right folder. So it's in my downloads folder. And I'm just gonna give that a quick check. Well, that took a while, but we have the same hash as you can see right here. So we are good to move on to the next step. So as you can see, this is an OVA file and actually um, so we can go right into our virtual box and we can go file import appliance and we have to locate this OVA file in our downloads folder simple as this we're just gonna go with the defaults in the beginning um, there's really for, for what we're gonna be doing in the in the um, the next lessons that I'm going to be showing you guys, we, we don't really need to do anything special. The only thing I would say is to make sure your your network settings are set to NAT, just so, because um, if it's set to bridge and it's just directly on your network, and I, I try to uh, stay away from that. But we're going to import that. So after we've imported the OVA, all we have to do is actually start up the virtual machine. And then there's just a few uh, configuration screens we need to flip through and then you're good. You're all set up with Kali Linux. Okay, so it looks like we've had an error here. I've actually run into this before and I might as well just throw it into this tutorial in case you guys are experiencing the same thing. Um, so the problem is with the USB 2.0 controller. Um, so we're actually going to go into the VM settings and configure this so we can actually get this launched up. We're going to go into settings. Uh, we're going to go into USB. And so, so this is our, this is our problem. Um, I'm just going to click off enable USB controller right now because I'm not really concerned with this and I want to get it up running. And these are all settings that can be changed later on. So, so when you're configuring this, don't really worry too much. Um, you can, there are a lot of different states and changes that can be made. So we're just going to boot it up. So the username by default is root and then the password is tor, just root backwards. So T O O R. And there we are. We've set up Kali Linux and VirtualBox. So if you like this, um, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a lot of a lot of videos about uh, some of the tools in Kali Linux, and we're going to be doing a lot of really cool demos on this channel. So thanks for sticking around with me, and uh, be
be sure to subscribe.